ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.tv and watch from any device. Now, meanwhile, in addition to terror tunnels and rockets on Israel's borders, Iran continuing to increase offensive pressures on all of its other regional neighbors. For one, six more individuals linked to Iran arrested in Cyprus over the weekend for allegedly planning terror attacks against Israelis on the island nation. Then the newly elected prime minister of Iraq surviving an assassination attempt outside of his home, an allegedly Iranian armed drone injuring several members of Prime Minister al khadimis personal security team. Joining to discuss is director of the Europa Institute at bar -Ilan University, Professor Shlomo Shapiro. Thank you so much for being with us, Professor. Hello. Now, how confidently can we link these incidents to Iran? I think that the assassination attempt on uh, Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa al Khadimi uh, can, can very well be connected to Iran for two reasons. First of all, the level of sophistication of the attack. Apparently, there were two di uh, drones that attacked very precisely, very directly uh, on him and his entourage. He was very lucky to remain alive. As you said, other people were, were injured quite severely. Um, regarding the, the events in Cyprus, I think that's probably an example to the other side of things. We need to be cautious in attributing things to Iran. We can't really do it directly. Not everything that happens against uh, Israel or Israeli targets is attributable to Iran. Um, but I think we should uh, uh, note that uh, one of the main ways by which Iran is attacking Israel now is the cyberspace uh, realm. And we see uh, Israeli companies, uh, uh, corporations, even universities and hospitals being attacked by uh, Iranians. Uh, that, that is where the main war takes place at the moment. All right. Well, you know, back to some of these attacks, the United States is already condemning the drone attack in Iraq as a terror attack. But, you know, what about the rest of the world? Where, where do they stand on this? Are, are they outspoken in condemning this attack? Are they outspoken in condemning Iran for this attack? Or are they more or less silent? The rest of the world, especially after the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, uh, is quite tired from what's happening in the Middle East in its wider form. Uh, and they're mainly dealing with uh, the repercussions of the COVID-19 pandemic and problems in Europe of the European Union. Uh, the, the Iranians know that world attention is diverted away from them, and that is why they can afford to get away with such things. All right. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Israel is giving uh, members of European Parliament a tour. Uh, they started already last weekend giving a, a tour of Hezbollah's cross-border attack tunnels in the north, Hezbollah being a terror proxy uh, of Iran in Lebanon. So how might this affect JCPOA negotiations, for example, you know, especially now that the United States is not so involved in those talks? I think that many people in Europe, politicians, statesmen, and ordinary citizens uh, feel more and more uh, uh, negatively towards Iran and averse towards uh, these negotiations, which apparently went nowhere in the past. Uh, th these negotiations now are moving ahead very slowly, as if both sides, not just the Europeans, are not really convinced that this is going to end up with a firm agreement. Are there any chances, in your opinion, that the EU will earnestly push at least to include limits on Iran's malign activities in the region in a new deal? I believe that the European Union in general does not want to see a nuclear armed Iran. The question is, or as they say, the devil is in the details. Um, what are going to be the, the various safeguards within any potential agreement that would really make it impossible for the Iranians to progress? It was not effective in the past as much as we would have wanted to. Um, and I think both sides might reach some piece of paper. But whether that piece of paper is going to be effective or not, I'm quite skeptical. All right. Professor Shlomo Shapiro, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your insights. Thank you.